Hey, beautiful people of the Most High God, happy Sabbath. So the Most High God wants me to read out of the Book of Doctrine and Covenants and um, to read actually a couple other books. So we're doing the little things a little bit different today. So I'm going to read Doctrine and Covenants chapter 46, verse 6. And um, the next video I'm going to read from another book. All right, so here we go. Doctrine and Covenants 46, verse 6. And again, I say unto you concerning your confirmation meetings, and if there be any that are not of the church, that are earnestly seeking after the kingdom, you shall not cast them out. But you are commanding in all things to acts of God, who gives liberally, and that which the Spirit testifies unto you, even so I would that you should do in all holiness of heart, walking uprightly before me, considering the end of your salvation, doing all things with prayer and thanksgiving, that you may not be seduced by evil spirits or doctrine of devils or the commandments of men, for some are of men and others are of devils. So what God is saying is, by, but ye are commanded in all things to ask of God, who gives liberally, so if anybody is seeking the kingdom of God, God tells you not to cast them away and to seek him in all things and to pray and ask him about it. All right. And um, considering the end of your salvation, doing all things with prayer and thanksgiving, that you may not be seduced by evil spirits or doctrine of devils or the commandments of men. For some are of men. So there's some commandments that be of men and, other of, and others of devils. Wherefore, beware lest you are deceived, that you may not be deceived. Seek ye earnestly the best gifts. Always remember for what ye are given. For verily I say unto you, they are given for the benefit of those who love me and keep my commandments. So the best gifts, God tells you to always remember why they're given to you. Your gifts are given to you to benefit and to benefit those who love God and keep his commandments and him that seeks so to do that all may be benefited that seek or ask of me so people's spiritual gifts people's gifts and the best gifts God to give them are to benefit them and to benefit those who love God and keep his commandments and those who seek God and ask God that ask and not for a sign that they may consume it upon their lusts so people who ask God for a gift, but it not to consume upon their lust. You get me? And again, verily I say unto you, I would that you should always remember and always retain in your minds what those gifts are. So God would that you should always remember and retain in your minds what your gifts are that are given to the church. What gifts are given to the church and what your gifts are. So that's something you're so always supposed to remember and something you're always to keep in mind. For all have not every gift. So everybody, there's several gifts, like as you know, in the King James Bible, and it tells us about there's different gifts. Some have interpretation of dreams, some are evangel, you know. So for all have not every gift, for all have not every gift given unto them. So everyone has different gifts, right? For there are many gifts to every man is given a gift by the Spirit of God. But every man is given a gift to their several ability. If you watch my video where I teach about destiny, abilities, and talents, in that it breaks down in the scriptures. I go into the scriptures speaking that God gives people um, gifts and abilities to, to their several ability, right? So for all have not every gift given unto them for there are many gifts and to every man is given a gift by the by the spirit of god to some is given one see to some is given another that all may be profited but thereby so i explain this a lot in the video destiny abilities and talents but great god brought me to the scriptures where it just actually says it from when I explained it, it actually says it. To some is given one, to some is given another, that all may be profited thereby. So gifts are there to profit, 
and gifts are there to benefit, all right? To some is given by the Holy Spirit to know that Christ is the Son of God and that he was crucified for the sins of the world. To others it's given to believe on their words. So that's even a gift to believe on the words of God. To others it's given to believe on their words that they also might have eternal life if they continue faithful. And again, to some is given by the Holy Spirit to know the differences of administrations as it will be pleasing unto the same Lord, according as the Lord will, suiting his mercies according to the condition of the children of men. See, different administrations, it's all well pleasing to God because it helps in suiting his mercies according to the condition that people are in. And again, it is given by the Holy Spirit to some to know the diversities of operations. So that's even a gift to know the diversities of operation, how gifts work. That's an, also a gift to know how other gifts work. You see that? It's cool. Everyone benefits. Whether they be of God, that the manifestations of the Spirit may be given to every man to profit withal. And again, verily I say unto you, to some is given by the Spirit of God, the word of wisdom. To another is given the word of knowledge. See, that's another gift, the word of wisdom. To another, the word of knowledge, that all may be taught to be wise and to have knowledge. So why is, are you given the word of knowledge? And why are you given the word of, I mean, the word of wisdom? That all may be taught to be wise and have knowledge. And again, to some it is given to have faith, to be healed. See, even have faith is another gift. To others, it is given to have faith to heal. There's other people who have a gift to heal people, to heal the sick. And again, to some it is given the working of miracles. You have other people, their gift is miracles. And to other, it is given to prophesy, to prophesy, to prophecy. Prophesy, forgive me, amen. Uh, that's another gift. To others, the discerning of spirits. That's another gift. And again, it is given to some to speak with tongues. There you have another gift. To another, it is given the interpretation of tongues. And all these gifts come from God for the benefit of the children of God. So God wants you to know, basically, gifts, you're not entitled to gifts Gifts are to benefit all, for to profit all, to help all, to teach knowledge and under, wisdom and understanding. It's to help all each other. It's to help God's creation. It's not to be used selfishly. It's not to be abused. It's to help. It's to heal, as you can see. It's to teach knowledge, wisdom, understanding. It's to benefit. It's to profit. And unto the bishop of the church, and unto such as God shall appoint and ordain to watch over the church, and to be elders unto the church, are to have it given unto them to discern all those gifts, lest there shall be any among you prophesying, and yet be not of God. And it shall come to pass that he that acts in spirit shall receive in spirit. So if you ask God for a gift in spirit, you shall receive it in spirit. How do you ask God for a, a gift in spirit? You have to fast. That's when you're in the spirit, when you're fasting. That unto some it may be given to have all those gifts, that there may be a head in order that every member may be profited thereby. Remember, there's no limit to how many gifts God can give you, but you have to seek him to get it, right? He that asks in the spirit asks according to the will of God. So when you ask God something in the spirit, you're asking according to the will of God because that's what he told you to do. He told you to worship him in spirit and in truth. So when you ask him in the spirit, you're following his will. You're doing the will of God. So he'll grant you something. Remember what I said? If you're following his commandments, if you're sending up to God, then he'll be sending down to you, right? He that asks in the spirit, asks according to the will of God. Wherefore, it is done even as he asks. So even as you ask it in the spirit, it's done. God has done it. So let me read this again. He that asks in the spirit asks according to the will of God. 
You're doing the will of God. You're following his commandment. He told you to ask and you shall be given. Seek and you shall find. Knock and the door shall be open. And he told you to fast. Um, that he, God is a spirit and those who worship him worship him in spirit and truth. So once you're fasting and you're asking God for something, you'll get it. It's already done. So he that asks in the spirit asks according to the will of God. Wherefore it is done even as he asks. And again, I say unto you, all things must be done in the name of Christ. So that's another will that, that comes with, with this. So you ask by fasting and praying in the Spirit of God. You're, you're doing the will of God by doing what he said, approaching him how he wants you to approach him, right? And now he told you how to use the name of Christ, whatsoever you do in the Spirit. So there you, got, there you go. And you must... Give thanks unto God in the Spirit for whatsoever blessing you are blessed with. And you must practice virtue and holiness before me continually. Even so, amen. So this is Doctrine and Covenants, chapter 46, that God wanted me to read to you. Um, stay blessed, beautiful people.